let's practice using the gradient function and uh, seeing some typical examples of questions they may ask you to do. Okay, all right. Let's let's do one question first of all, and I'm going to use slightly different notation than when I was, than what I was using before. Okay, let's take the graph of um, take the graph of y equals x plus one bracket and a bracket sorry and then two x plus three. Okay, so on this graph, find find the gradient find the gradient at the coordinate uh, 221 okay so this this graph again okay, um, this point belongs to the graph so it goes through that coordinate 221 and the question is if you draw a tangent at that point on the graph how steep is that gradient okay so so how steep is that line what's the gradient of it All right well what we have to do is differentiate this but can't differentiate it looking like this we need to expand it out don't we so let's do that so that would be 2x squared plus 3x and then plus 2x plus 3 and let's clean that up we have a 2x squared plus and that gives us 5x plus 3 Okay, that's your function rewritten okay y equals this now we need to differentiate it but think about the notation we're using we're using the letter y so if I want to represent the derivative function I need to say dy by dx okay it's the same thing this remember is the same thing as this but <clears throat> because we're using this notation we use that here instead All right let's differentiate this power comes down multiplies the two you get a 4x plus and uh, there's a power one there multiplies the five you get a five and then it's x power zero that's just five okay and then the three there's no x next to it so it becomes zero okay so four x plus five is the derivative function okay and what we want to do is find the gradient at 221 okay so all we need to do is bung in some x value and it tells us the gradient at that coordinate but what what x value is it well if you look at the coordinate 2 is the x component so we need to bung 2 into this function so we need to evaluate this at 2 all right so let's work that out we need to do 4 times 2 plus 5 okay that's 8 <clears throat> add 5 that's 13 so that yellow line is 13 steep okay its gradient is 13 all right then let's look at another example Let's look at something a bit more, a bit more, uh, a bit more challenging. We're going to be working backwards this time, right? Okay. This is a typical thing they ask you to do. So example two, find the coordinate. If I just put chord, find the coordinate on the graph. Apologies for my bad writing, for my handwriting. Find the coordinate on the graph of y equals x squared where the gradient is equal to 8 okay so where on the graph so where on this simple graph y equals x squared which is we all know looks like this where on it so if I do my axis question mark where on this x-axis is the gradient equal to 8 Okay, so we know it's got to be somewhere over here, right? So somewhere here, the gradient is going to be 8 steep, but where exactly is it on this? Okay, so we're working backwards this time. They've told us the gradient and they want us to find the coordinate. So if we start with the function y equals x squared, let's differentiate it first of all dy by dx equals power comes to the front 2x. Again, reduces by 1. So that's the, derif that's the gradient function. This tells us the gradient anywhere on the graph. We just need to bung in the value uh, of x. But this time around, they tell us the gradient. They tell us it's equal to 8. So what we need to do is make an equation. We need to say that 2x equals 8. Okay, And what value of x gives us 8? Because they're telling us the gradient. So we know that 2 times... So this function tells us the gradient anywhere on the graph. And we want it, for this particular question, to equal 8. So where does it equal... So what value of x makes it 8? Okay, so it's a simple equation, 2x equals 8, that means x must be 4, right? Okay, so that means on 
at x equals 4 on my x-axis, the gradient is 8 steep on the graph. But the question is, what's the coordinate? Uh, when all we have at the moment is that we know it's 4 along. But the question is, you know, what's the y component? And then we go back to the function, okay? And think about how we plot the function. We know the x value. If we want to find the y value, we just need to put it into the function. So y equals x squared, and x is 4, so we need to put do 4 squared, and that is 16. So the coordinate is 4, 16. Okay, so um, on my y equals x squared graph, at the coordinate 4, 16, if I draw my tangent line at that particular coordinate, the gradient is 8 steep. Okay, that's that's working backwards from the original problem. All right, let's look at a something a bit more a bit more challenging than that. Okay, so find this is example three. Find on y equals x cubed plus x squared, take away x, plus 1, find on the graph of y equals x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1, where the gradient is equal to 0. Okay, so when on this graph is the gradient equal to 0? And think about what it means by gradient equaling 0. It's going to be a flat tangent line, okay? Right, so first of all, let's differentiate this. So dy by dx equals power comes to the front, reduces by 1, take away 1. Power comes to the front, 2x, and then take 1 off the power, just becomes 1. Okay, power comes to the front, you get a minus 1, and then it's x to the power 0, so it's just minus 1. Right, we want to find out when this thing, this is the gradient function, and we want the gradient to equal 0, okay? What values of x give us 0? So we need to effectively solve this equation, don't we? 3x squared plus 2x take away 1 equals 0. Okay, we want the gradient to equal 0. What value of x gives us that? All right, this is a quadratic, and you should know ways to solve quadratics. You can use the quadratic formula, or you can um, complete the square and all that stuff. I'm just going to factorize it. So. Um, okay, well, I've done that. Before. I'm, I've done it already, so I'm just going to tell you what it factorizes into. Factorizes into 3x take away 1 bracket x plus 1. Okay, equals 0. You should, if you're not sure how to do that, you really got to practice your quadratic skills. Now, we want to find out where uh, the gradient equals 0. What value of x makes the gradient equal 0? Well, look at each bracket. This bracket, what value of x makes that bracket 0? Well, x has got to equal the third for that. Okay, third. Okay, what value of x makes this bracket 0? x needs to be equal minus 1. So there's two points on the graph where the gradient is 0. 1 third and minus 1. Okay, so that means on my x-axis, okay, here's my x-axis, okay, here's my y-axis, not drawn very well. All right. At minus 1 and 1 third, the gradient equals 0. Now, what does it mean by the gradient equals 0? Okay? That means that the tangent line is flat, okay? so it's horizontal. But when does that happen? Well, it's got to be when it's sort of like a peak like this. Okay? If you think about a graph coming up and reaching the top, at the very top, like the vertex, you're going to have a flat gradient. If you draw a tangent at that particular point, it's got to be a flat line. Or it's going down like this and coming back up and at this minimum point okay the tangent would be flat there so um so one of these the point is probably going up like this and the other one's probably going down like this actually at this point and then here's where you get a gradient to zero and a gradient to zero there actually I, I, i've plotted it to just double check that and here here it is okay here's minus one and if you look at that coordinate at that point there, at the very peak, if you try and draw a tangent at that peak, it's going to be a flat line. So at the top, the gradient is zero. And here, you can see that's minus a third there. So if you try and draw a, a tangent there, it's going to be a flat line. So there is two points 
on this graph where the gradient equals zero. Okay, minus one and one third. All right. So don't be afraid that when you make an equation equal zero and you have a quadratic, solve the quadratic. Okay. And it, yeah, okay. It seems that there's not one unique point on this graph where the gradient equals zero. There's two, but that can happen. All right, that can happen. So there could be multiple points where it could equal another number. All right. So don't be worried about that. Okay, because graphs are curvy and all sorts, and there could be multiple points where the gradients are the same. So that's what we kind of use the gradient function for. Um, so we either start with a function, okay, f of x or y, we differentiate it, and we want to find the gradient, so we bung in some x value, and it tells us how steep the tangent line is, or we're working backwards from it. They tell us the gradient, what's the coordinate, okay? So what's the x, y coordinate, okay? What point give us that gradient? So we're doing two things. We're either finding the gradient, or they're telling us the gradient, and we're finding the point, okay? So again, practice that skill. I'll just point out some uh, questions in the textbook uh, where you can find some you know so you can practice some of those things okay so I'm just gonna put um, I'm just gonna find out some pages for you I'm just gonna pause it for a second okay if you're so you can try the following questions if you're using the second edition book okay the second edition so look on the cover oops second edition book all right look on the cover for that um, page four eight nine exercise 17c okay this is from the Hayes and Harris book but um, that, that's the you, and I'm oh, sorry and question number question number oh god what question number was it damn um, let me look that up really quickly I think it was question number uh, I think it was question number four can you, can you believe that I didn't write that down 489 and it was question number yeah it was question number four all right so check that out if you're using the third edition book okay the third edition book it's page 363 and um, exercise 15a and again it's question number four there okay so check those out um, so that's to do with the problem above so see you know see if you can do it Alright, so remember the two things that you're going to be doing. Right, I'm going to stop there. So, in the next clip, we'll look at dealing with logs, exponentials, and all sorts of other nasty looking things.